ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long day and now it's time for the last episode that I'll be doing in one single day. I think this is the record four in one day episodes of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today I'm going to settle a question that came up. I can't remember who the heck asked it, but here we go. The question is, do noodles belong in Chile? Well, I mean, we're not talking about the country or Chileans. I'm sure they have noodle, noodles in Santiago, but do they belong in this dented can of chili I found in the mail room? That probably came from somebody's trip to the food bank and they were just like, no, I'm good. Used by 2022, November, so it's, it's coached. And uh, we're gonna use, it really doesn't matter because I'm not gonna season them. The chili's already seasoned. But the question is, do noodles belong in chili? And I uh, have been called many things, many things I don't wanna repeat, many things I would like to make people not be able to repeat. However, one thing I've been called is the God of Ramen. And I will give you a definitive answer whether noodles belong in chili. By the way, this is just yet another recipe that'll be part of the cavalcade of weirdness that I am submitting for the How Do You Top Ramen hashtag Top Ramen 50th Anniversary Shush of Top 50th Anniversary of Top Ramen. So, three minutes. Okay. So, hope your day is going well. It's time for another wonderful quote out of the book Momofuku Ando Speaks. Quotations from the guy who invented instant noodles all those years ago. Number 78. Borrowings are like opium for a company. Once you get a taste for it, you cannot kick, kick the habits. Borrowings. Wow, look at that. Sun is out, sun is gone. Sun is out, sun is gone. Here, gone. Here, gone. Luckily, like last night was insane. Actually, yesterday. I did a, a video. I, I, I've got this little mini tripod, kind of like the thing this is on, but it's got a like a claw and you can put a cell phone in it. Um, and I've got a uh, like a 20,000 milliamp hour battery brick. So I hooked that up to the thing and I just point it in a direction in the sky and let it sit. And it, the first half of the day it got the, uh, the big tree that's over here. And then the second half it was more just the sky. So in the first half, the tree's just like sitting there and then it starts wiggling a little, then it starts really wiggling, then it's just like, whoa! And then it switches to the sky and the wind chimes are flailing around and then you see the top of the tree moving. And then it slows down and the night descends. It's pretty cool. I've done a lot of those. A lot of the outros for these videos are done that way. So. Yep. If, if anybody's ever been wondering how I do my stuff, I use Photoshop and I use Adobe Premiere Elements. You no, know, a lot of people are going to be like, why, don't you, why do you use that crap? Why don't you just use Premiere? It's quick, dirty, and fast. It's like I can throw stuff in, get stuff out super quick. Way quicker than the learning curve and time it just takes and processing and all that for Premiere. So that's just kind of, at least at this point, Someday I'll have time to sit and just like spend, uh, we have like a necessity that I spend like hours and hours and hours or weeks with regular Premiere or uh, After Effects and stuff like that. The uh, intro for some of my videos has an After Effects dinger in the beginning. It's my name card. So that's the Ramen Raider logo rotating. That's After Effects. But it's just like, uh, no. Nah. It works fine, right, Mimi? Yeah? I'm sorry, turn it off and turn it back on. Okay. Sound advice for all technological issues, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so our noodles are done. 
got to open our chili. I'm kind of... Yes? I don't want to raise Susie sheep. It's too fast for me. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Papa's work. Oh God, I really hate these kind of things. We'll see how it goes. I suck at the pan. What am I doing wrong? I never use this thing for this specific reason. Last time I used it though, it worked great. Get it Come on, grab it. If I can't open this pan, that like totally ruins the episode. Yeah. So it should butt up against that, right? shouldn't take any thought. My children should be Maybe I should get the kids to do this. Hey, kids. Jeez, come on. There you go. One must stand to make it operate correctly. No, 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 no. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And stop. There you go. It smells like dog food. Yeah, I'm not a dog, dog. It's not dog food, it's called chili. Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. It's safe. It says it's safe. The can's a little dented. It smells like dog food, but it's gonna be okay. And we're gonna answer the age-old question. Does ramen belong in chili? So let's drain this. One, two, three. Ah. Nice and drained. Drop in this chili, what have you. South Gate Chili. And the Southern Gate. I don't know, it smells kind of good. I have, I used to like, do all sorts of ridiculous stuff with food, you know? I used to taste like, something like this would be like, I don't know, late night dinner thing. Oh yeah, I think I had this after partying up with people before. <laughs> but you know what I always would do if I had chili? I would add cheese, but I'm not gonna do that today because I am not eating this. I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna give it a, a good good try. Granted, this isn't like the best chili in the world, but hey, if it's good enough for the food bank, <laughs> if it's good enough to make people, oh, wait a second. Yeah, I need to heat it up. That probably would be better. Hey, do I hear fighting out there? Hey, you kids, do I hear fighting out there? What are you doing? What are you doing? That's enough noise. Now we gotta wait for that to heat up? God, it's almost two o'clock. What a day. I'll have to crank out these videos fast and then do a bunch of walking around in the apartment and call it good. Now it's time to yell at the children. Oh, no it's not. <laughs> hey, is it time to yell at the children? Is it time to get yelled at? What are you guys doing? Be 
nice to each other. Alright, time out. Sit down. Be nice. I'll bring you a snack in a second. Ah, uh, the threat of the timeout. Time honored parental power play that works for mere moments until it becomes long, long forgotten. What's that? That looks like a vestibule. Ah, for the look for your eye? Uh-huh. Awesome. It's like the eye. It's like my eye. Okay. Okay, Papa's got to do some serious scientific hard work now. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, there is chili as well as instant noodles on this fork. And I will give you my full... I can see you too, Mimi. Go run along. Papa's got to do his science work. It's sciencing time. Cheers. I mean, It bulks it up. I mean, if you if you if you're like a whole can of chili just isn't enough for me, I need a can of chili and a boatload of carbs to go along with it. This is your friend right here. But It just makes me think it's it's chili with a bunch of little tiny snakes in it. But do ramen noodles belong in chili? That's the question. Somebody said, God, who was it? Sorry, dude. I will. I know as soon as I get off here and get on Facebook, I'm like, oh, it was a dude, here. But uh, he said no, because if you add chili or noodles to chili, it's no longer chili. And it's like, but what if I added crackers to chili? Is it no longer chili with that logic? What if I added cheese? Is it no longer chili? I, I, I don't know, but... Here's a bowl. And here is chili and instant noodles together. Together forever. Honestly, it's not bad. I've had worse. I used to take a block of ramen, a can of, uh, what do you call it? Oh, like Campbell's Minestrone. And just like all sorts of crap. A can of chili. Mix it all together and have that after I got home after hanging out at the bar. I mean, it's like the 2 a.m. bad ideas just can never end when it comes to like chili and all this stuff, so. This looks like wrong. That's enough noise out there, guys. You're really driving me nuts. I'm gonna have to cut your fingers off one by one. So let's Rotato do the thing. Here we go. Chili ain't none of my business if you do. 
eat it. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>